This is a Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center podcast. New techniques for permanent birth control with Dr. Linda Yang. This procedure is for women who have decided that they no longer want any children. So women who have made a committed decision to use a permanent method of birth control or sterilization. So this was this is a procedure that was introduced and approved by the FDA in 2002 and the procedure is called hysteroscopic sterilization. It basically is a procedure that can be performed in the office or the operating room and is a procedure that doesn't use any incisions at all. So it's the only method of permanent birth control that's available to women that allows them to recover without any abdominal incisions being made. It uses a flexible coil that is placed in each of the fallopian tubes and the way that it's placed is the patient's doctor introduces an instrument through the vaginal opening into the uterus and places one coil in each tube and then over the course of about three months or so the body's natural reaction is to uh, develop scar tissue around the, the coil and after about three months time the fallopian tubes become blocked and so that prevents any fertilization um, from occurring. So the traditional tube tying procedure is called a tubal ligation or tubal sterilization and the, uh, the most common way that it's performed is laparoscopically through small incisions um, in the abdomen or it, um, it can also be performed after a woman is given birth um, while they're still in the hospital. But for either procedure it does involve making incisions and if, if you look at how effective um, the traditional way of having uh, tubes tied um, is compared to the hysteroscopic sterilization, the effectiveness is quite similar. The chance of someone becoming uh, pregnant after hysteroscopic sterilization is less than 1%. So it is extremely effective. It also compares um, very well when you compare it to the male version of permanent sterilization, which is a vasectomy. The major benefit is that whether they have busy careers or if they're busy moms or have a lot of other commitments in their daily life that most women within 24 hours can resume their normal activities. Because no incisions are made, the amount of discomfort is really limited to uh, during the procedure and for the rest of the day. But by the next day and for the days after that, most women don't have much discomfort at all so they're not requiring any pain medications. The other advantage is that there's no anesthesia um, in the form of general anesthesia, as you would expect for the uh, tubal ligation that's performed with the incisions. Because this is still a procedure where we are uh, placing things in the uterus and the fallopian tube, there's always some risk involved. Most of the risks include um, bleeding or discomfort um, at the time of insertion or um, transiently after the procedure. There is also a risk of not being able to successfully place the coil in the fallopian tubes, either both of the fallopian tubes or just one of the tubes. So that is um, something that um, can occur. Um, for women who successfully have the coils placed, we do require a confirmatory test in three months to make sure that both tubes are uh, successfully blocked. And so for women who undergo this procedure, they also have to understand that for three months after the procedure, they also have to have a backup method of birth control. A woman who is uncertain or has any doubts of whether or not she wants any more children in the future. So that's, I think, the biggest, um, uh, the biggest factor to consider. And so then 
uh, when you think about other women who aren't appropriate for this type of procedure are women who have already had surgery on their fallopian tubes um, because that may make the procedure a little bit more risky for them. Um, any women who are currently having any signs of infection within the pelvis, um, that's another type of patient that I would not recommend the procedure to be performed in. There certainly are lots of other available, reversible, long-term contraceptive methods that are quite effective. And so I would say that this procedure certainly isn't right for everyone, but for a woman who's looked at all her choices, um, this may be a, a really great um, solution for her.